Tom, a um, couple of issues where uh, Israel was referred to as a fascist state. And then, of course, the allegation that Just Stop Oil was linked to Labour. We've got some clarification on these issues. Yes, I have indeed. The Labour MP Kim Johnson, of course, Liverpool MP, referred to the State of Israel just in one of those last questions there at Prime Minister's Questions today as a fascist state. She said it was also an apartheid state, uh, something that uh, really harked back to those days when Jeremy Corbyn was leading the party. The Prime Minister uh, did not agree with her statement. But more interestingly, after Prime Minister's questions, when we uh, get the chance to talk to the leader of the opposition's spokesperson, the leader of the opposition's spokesperson was very forthright, saying that these were not acceptable, were unacceptable things to have said. They really do hark back to those days when the uh, Labour Party was accused of various forms of anti-Semitism. It seems that uh, Kim Johnson, uh, in, indeed it is the fact that Kim Johnson has now been called in to see the chief whip of the Labour Party. And I understand that if she does not give a fulsome apology for those comments, those comments calling Israel a fascist state just four days after Holocaust Memorial Day, if she does not give a fulsome apology, it may well be the case that she is suspended as a Labour MP, that she loses the whip. Interesting. And what about this um, allegation from Rishi Sunak about Just Stop Oil, uh, the protesters being linked to Labour? Yes, it was an interesting allegation. Uh, the Prime Minister's spokesperson was standing by that allegation that the Labour Party has received money from those activists within Just Stop Oil. However, the Labour Party leader's spokesman has said that is completely untrue. Indeed, has asked, has called on the Prime Minister to retract that statement now. Uh, so we are waiting to see whether or not the Prime Minister will retract that statement or whether or not the Prime Minister will provide some evidence behind it. After all, the Prime Minister's spokesman did say that this was apparently declared in uh, financial declarations. So we are chasing that one up and we'll right. update you as soon as we get some clarification. But a bit of a disagreement there between the Conservative Party and the Labour Party as to whether or not Just Stop Oil is indeed funding the Labour Party.